in the mid-1990s, New York City had less green space per person than anywhere in America. But we realized that schoolyards could be the solution. All public schools should have a place for children to run, for children to act silly, for children to develop their minds, to play, have fun. A green community schoolyard is transforming an asphalt or an underperforming school space into a beautiful park-like environment. It's really important that we involve the community as the designers of the park so that it serves their needs. To determine which neighborhoods are most in need of recreation space, we are looking at poverty levels, environmental justice indicators, and also health. We want to make sure that we're putting these spaces in neighborhoods that really need us. I started designing this project when I was in sixth grade, knowing that when I'm an adult, I can think back to this and know that there are still kids who get to play around in this yard. It's a really cool idea. We see stormwater moving across these sites a lot differently. It's now managed on the site where stormwater falls. It's absorbed into the ground. And when you are able to add green spaces, you can reduce that urban heat island effect. The school years that come into our program become anchors for community bonding. If they're not already open to the community, they become open to the community. We find funding in order to keep them open and clean for weekends and after school hours. This has become a place for different events. Sometimes we have different foods or music, performing, different games for the kids, and it has become something that can bring the whole community together. The community schoolyard model can be replicated not only everywhere in the United States, but around the world.